New Literacies and the Common Core by William Kist, presented by Amy Thomas. William Kist was a former middle school and high school language arts teacher who used research for classroom uses of new media across disciplines and grade levels for over 15 years. He has presented nationally and internationally with over 50 articles and book chapters to his credit. He served as director of the Commission on Media for the National Council of Teachers of English. Throughout his career as an educator, he has remained active as a professional musician. His original music has been compiled on his album, Movie Music. In his observations of classrooms around the world for the last 15 years, William Kist has seen teachers introducing their students to new ways of reading and writing using a variety of new media. More recently, Kist has become aware of how strongly the Common Core State Standards align with instruction in these new literacies. In this article, Kist describes four strategies for ensuring that students are able to navigate new ways of reading and writing. He shares strategies schools can implement that are directly aligned with specific Common Core Standards. After reading this article, I feel that KISS strategies will both be effective and simple to implement into the classroom with minimal effort for the teacher, but a major outcome for students, giving them the practice they need to become successful members of our ever-changing technological world. KISS's article answers readers' question. How can we prepare young people to thrive in today's society without giving them practice with new media at school? Through the explanation of four strategies, he shares insight on how to combat this arising issue. The Common Core State Standards recognize that to thrive in a newly wired world, students need to master new ways of reading and writing. The first strategy suggests that in order to fulfill related Common Core Standards, the ability to read text closely and to be text detectives, it makes sense to start by looking at non-print texts, such as genres of video, music, and visual art, as students enter a world in which they will be doing much of their reading and writing on a screen. The second strategy explains that teachers can have students use PowerPoint, Prezi, iMovie, VoiceThread, or any number of such digital platforms to put together a presentation of texts from many genres that have shaped their lives. By doing this task, students get a chance to examine the ways that they have been influenced by a variety of different kinds of texts and to compare and contrast the opportunities that each kind of text inherently offers. By creating the autobiography in a non-print dominated medium, students also practice digital writing. The third strategy that KISS provides is giving students more time and opportunity to write together. A simple strategy to start practice with collaborative writing is to have students in small groups circle interesting words they find in some texts and then challenge them to collaboratively write a poem based on the words that they have chosen together. Most effective techniques for getting students ready to read and write in digital environments do not even involve new technology. Frequently, international classroom collaborations involve having students read and build nonfiction texts together, such as blogs or wikis. The old-fashioned research paper may now appear as a vibrant collection of links woven together with text describing the topic being researched, and the traditional textbook is being transformed as teachers assign students to write their own textbooks online. Some teachers create collaborative research projects in which students who are far apart geographically contribute data from their respective homes. When studying sites, for example, each classroom might contribute data regarding local industry, recreation, and community demographics. The four strategies described here are not difficult to implement and ironically can be attempted with little new technology. More powerful than a room full of gadgets is a teacher who has a deep understanding of what the new forms of reading and writing entail.